Hi guys, it's Jimena here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing something different. I am going to be trying a new product, which is the Fenty Underdog Liquid Lipstick in the Stana Lip Paint. Uh, but I'm also going to be trying to recreate a makeup artist makeup look. So I'm going to be trying to recreate the Nikki Makeup Dark Lip, which is currently on her stories highlights. If you don't know who Nikki Makeup is, she is a celebrity makeup artist. She is huge. She is an account I follow on Instagram or Slap follows on Instagram and I really, really like her work. She's done makeup for people like Dua Lipa, Yara Shahidi, lots of celebs and young it girls. And yeah, her makeup looks are just always so good. So I wanted to try and recreate this one. It came up a few weeks ago and I was kind of like in the mood for autumn. So this is the look I'm gonna be trying to recreate here. I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried to recreate a makeup artist makeup look before, but I felt like it was a cool time to try it and I just wanted to try and do something different for you guys whilst also trying a new product as well. So I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the slap family and I hope you enjoy this video. And so I'm going to be recreating a makeup look today. This is a makeup look by Nikki Makeup. She's probably one of my favorite makeup artists ever just because everything she creates is so modern and so glamorous but understated but she it's just like perfection i've moisturized my face with the la roche posay tolerane ultra cream which i really like it's giving my skin a really nice glow so next i'm going to go into priming products i'm going to go really glowy what she's done is she's really focused on the skin and really made the skin look very supple very glowy very natural so i'm just going to like really overglow myself and then i can always powder it down first i'm going to use the laura mercier foundation primer radiance or radiance I really like this, it's a really nice glowy primer. It's not too heavy, but it does give my skin a really nice radiance. So next I'm gonna go in with something even glowier. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade seven. This is actually a really rich shade, but six is way too light for me. So this is the best thing. If you wear it under your um, foundations anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. Looking very supple. <laughs> very supple. So for concealer, I'm gonna do a bit of mixing and matching. I'm gonna kind of mix between the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade number 10. Also gonna use a bit of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Warm Deep. This shade doesn't exist anymore because they've changed their, sh expanded their shade range. So it's now numbers. I'm not sure what number this would be, but this is the shade Warm Deep here. Even though it's quite a thick formula, it gives quite a nice glow and it's very high coverage. You're not gonna see anything through it. And because it's quite red, it's quite good for darkness. So if you've got like dark bits around your mouth, dark circles, that's kind of why I wanted to use this one because it's got a really nice red undertone which kind of neutralizes those dark spots. What Nikki used, she used a Rodial Banana Concealer, which she said is really good for highlighting and brightening. So I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to recreate here. try and keep all of my layers as lightweight as possible. In her tutorial, Nikki used the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I've got this in the shade 6W1 Ganache. I really like the formula of it, it's very light, but this is too rich for me. I kept it because I thought it might be my summer shade, but I haven't quite got there yet. So I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the Pat McGrath Labs Foundation in MD26, which is my shape my winter shade so 
Nikki used the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder under the eyes and just to kind of set these areas. I'm going to use this, the same powder but the tinted version in 500 medium dark. This is like one of my favorite powders ever. And the eye look for today is gonna to be really simple, so actually I think it's nice to just have this wash of glittery shimmer on the lids. For the eyes, we're gonna go sheer, we're gonna go shimmery, and we're gonna go really close to my skin tone. So I'm gonna go in with the Tom Ford Abyssinian 10, the Emotion Proof Eye Color. Next on the lids to just top off this Tom Ford Abyssinian, I'm going to use the Bronzino Best Coast from Tower 28. She next goes in with the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara, which I have actually really been enjoying. I think it's a really, really good lengthening, spidery 60s lash. So next she goes in with brows, and Nikki makeup is kind of like the queen of soap brows. She's actually where I heard about soap brows. Felt like it was only right I use the soap brows. And if you want to get 10% off, then you can use her code, which is Nikki10, which is the code I use to get this. So I put a bit of liquid in my soap brows. You can use any setting spray or any kind of mist. They, when you buy this from soap brows, they actually give you a little mist. I'm going to use this spoolie I have from Spectrum and it's quite helpful for what I want to do today because it's got both ends. She said, press it down, gently. So you can see kind of where the gaps are, but I think that kind of makes it a bit easier because now I can see where I need to fill. So I'm just gonna let them dry for a little bit. After she's done these soap brows, she fills them in with a combination of Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gels. Luckily, I do have two different shades. I've got the shade Dark Brown, which is my regular favorite shade. And then I've got the shade Ebony, which is a richer, deeper shade that I don't tend to use too often. But I think for the purposes of this, this could be quite nice. She uses a angled brush like this, which comes with this. She just puts a bit out onto her hand, like so. At the end, she said she was kind of dragging it down, which I think I've kind of done actually. So that's my brows done. I feel like they look pretty good. I feel like I'm kind of like a Nikki makeup girl now, which is cute. I like them, I like them. Let's see what's next. I'm gonna move on to finishing skin now, and I'm gonna use the cream contour by Fenty Beauty in the shade Amber. Espresso from Fenty, which is a matchstick. I'm going to use a tiny bit of two products just to kind of blend them together. I'm going to use the Courchevel from Tom Ford, the glow stick. And I'm going to use the blushy shade there, which is a cream. And then I'm also going to use something I've been really enjoying, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. 
uh, which is a really nice kind of rose gold highlighter. happy with this base it looks very glowy what Nikki did is she used the Tiana the Mac and Tiana Taylor collaboration she used the Mac lip liner and then she went in with the Lisa Eldridge kind of velvet lipstick which is a very thick creamy lipstick also in a kind of dark red shade and then she went over in a dark red berry lip gloss this is the Chanel Rouge Allure lip gloss in controversy number 72 it's a really deep plummy gloss it might be too plummy but that's the only kind of very dark gloss i have i have two lip liners i have the pat mcgrath lip liner in manhattan i think that's what i'm going to use that's the pat mcgrath i also have the mac dark out pro Longwear lip pencil it's a bit old and it's not very easy to use but that's a really nice kind of oxblood red shade the Fenty Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Underdog, Underdog, which they say is a deep burgundy. It says a weightless long wear liquid lipstick with a soft matte finish born in a range of hair turning shades that look incredible on all skin tones. The long lasting matte pigment is so weightless you might even forget you're wearing it. 0.13 ounces and or fluid ounces and 4 mils. So decent size decent price it is 20 pounds and 25 us dollars i did kind of second guess buying it don't know how often i'm gonna wear like a deep plummy berry burgundy shade but if it's nice and if it looks good then i'll be really really pleased so it came in a box a fenty beauty box which is kind of her classic box Oh, it's a really nice color and it goes really well with the Chanel as well. So this is the Fenty Underdog. Very excited by this portion of the video. I feel like this is where it comes alive. I feel like this is where I come alive. I'm really enjoying my skin. I feel like the base is really nice, but I'm really excited by this Fenty color. I haven't worn like a dark red, very lit in years it feels like so i'm gonna line my lips with the pat mcgrath lip pencil in the shade manhattan fenty beauty underdog hopefully this looks good hopefully this brings everything together and just looks very nice this is one of the easiest to apply lip, liquid lipsticks just because of this hourglass applicator it just makes things really simple It's actually really nice and I think with the dewy skin this matte lip actually looks really nice but what she did is she put a gloss on so I'm gonna do that but just want to give you guys some visuals so lastly on this look for this look I'm going to do a gloss which is what Nikki did I'm gonna use the Chanel Rouge Allure lip gloss in the shade 72 controversy
So guys, that's my finished look. It's my first time trying to recreate a makeup artist look and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I do really like the lip. I think the lip came off really nicely and I do really like the combination of the Fenty lip standard lip paint with the Chanel or any kind of dark red gloss on top of it. I feel like that's a really nice combination and I do also really like the Fenty standard lip paint in Underdog on its own as well. I feel like that is a really nice kind of cool matte shade and I think it's something I will definitely be wearing more in autumn and also under my mask as well. I feel like that's a really nice mask proof lip. So if you have been meaning to try that product, then I definitely would recommend it. I feel like it's amazing. It's a really nice product. It is very matte, but as you can see, it does work really well with lip glosses as well, which I didn't know if it would. Pat McGrath mascara is just amazing. It's so good. It's really grown on me and it just really gives me lashes. It makes it look like I have false lashes on, which is great. I really also like doing the soap brows and the dip brow gel with the external brush. I think that is a bit long-winded and not something I would do every day, but I think it gave a really nice finish and it made them look really groomed. So I hope you guys like this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.